Scotty. Who's Scotty? What's up, gang? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we are unboxing a board I have been just so excited to receive. I've been waiting for it to get delivered, and it's finally arrived. And well, it is a 49 kilo box. So it's gonna be a little bit difficult to get up on the table. Um, today's video is gonna be just an unboxing. Um, I won't be riding it this weekend because uh, I'm off to Perth, um, Western Australia. For those of you uh, in the other parts of the world, it is a, what is it? What did I work it out to be? 47 hour drive with no stops. So it's a very long way. We're not driving, we're flying. It's about five hours by plane. So today, this is the Laurence, Laurence Major. And of course I put the box upside down. The Laurence Major. I'm probably saying that wrong, so I apologize. But this is the latest or the updated version, um, the one they uh, released or showed off at EscapeCon. Um, was a slightly different deck. That was version one, I guess you call it. This is version two. They received a whole lot of feedback around the deck being a little bit too aggressive in its uh, convex. I didn't mind it. I really enjoyed it. I didn't get to spend too much time on it. Um, but this is it. This is version two. And I am super excited to get this board out and uh, look at it in the flesh and take it for a ride next weekend. Um, now I'm in Perth until Tuesday night, I think it is. Maybe, yeah, something like that. We get back like midnight or something. So this coming weekend, guess what board I'll be riding. Now, as far as I understand, the specs haven't changed on the Major. Uh, it's still a massive battery. 1500 watt hours. It's still the same beautiful gear drive with beautiful precision CNC milled remote control. Um, it's still the same really beautiful sleek, need a longer knife if you can believe it. It's still the same really sleek, um, beautiful gear drives. <laughs> okay, so where are you? So I saw batch one, I saw the, the prototype, oh no, I guess it wasn't a prototype, it was the, the first version. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna switch over to GoPro, because um, I want you to experience, experience what I'm seeing. All right, so hopefully this angle works out. Look at that. This is, oh, really, really nice. This is just such a premium looking board. And you know, you do pay for it. This is not a cheap board. It's it's cheap as far as the specs and the the um, the performance you're getting. But this is not this is not a cheap electric skateboard. This is a beautifully made, um, just performance packed, really thought, really well thought out electric skateboard. Uh, let me try to get this out. It's packed in there pretty tight. Here it is. Now, this is a performance packed electric skateboard with a few bells and whistles. But the really nice thing, the thing I think is really worth uh, commenting on, is that it's not the bells and whistles that sell the skateboard. They're a, a nice afterthought, you know, the additional lights and the, the lasers underneath but it's the raw performance and handling of this board which makes it a good skateboard, if that makes sense. You know, so often we see like the EUC world, you know, some electric skateboards, you know, it's got tail lights or underglow lights and people focus on that. Well, sure, these have them, they're cool, but it's not what makes this board special. All right, now that we've got the board out, let's see what else we get. Uh, there are some spear bushings or different durometer bushings, that's nice. We've got some hardware, some like looks like deck, deck savers, 
some uh, mounting screws for the different bindings for mount uh, for the bindings for the trample bindings. A tool bag, an actual tool bag with some what looks to be really nice quality tools. Uh, the little pockets. I'm assuming these are empty. They're probably for if you buy different tires because there's a whole heap of different tires that come with this board and then underneath here you're met with your accessories so in here some really nice instructions so save those I assume it's pretty straightforward but I'm, there'll be a lot of stuff in there about how to adjust okay so in here you're met with their beautiful remote control oh, man I remember seeing this thing at Eastgate Con Look at that. Let's see if it turns on. I haven't shown the power button is. It's bound. There we go. Yeah, really nice. Feels so beautiful in the hand. Okay, in the next box, you've got, I don't know. Need the knife again. Okay, the next box. Ooh. Oh, okay. Here's the big boy. So this is the standard charger that comes with every major. And I'll just get you to look at that number right there. 15 amps. So every major comes with a 15 amp charger. That is 100% top of the range classified as fast charger. So that's really awesome. They're really not trying to um, avoid any expenses they're trying to make an amazing skateboard and an amazing experience with the with the accessories and so on so with an amazing remote an awesome charger awesome wheel options all that sort of stuff there's one more box and i've got no idea what it's in there let's have a look oh. it says premium accessories on the side Ah, okay, so this box here is all of their in-house branded headlights and tail lights. These things really, I was really impressed with these at Vegas. They light up, they got all the extra connectors, everything that you could possibly need to, uh, to turn this on, light it up and just make it so, so usable. Come back to my previous comment, you know, they, they're, not, they're not trying to avoid expenses, they're trying to make the best product they can, which I really applaud them for that. It's a risk, it's a risk making an expensive skateboard, but it's, it's like Woodstock, you know, build it and they will come, make a good skateboard, people will buy it. It's right, so really quickly looking at the board, as I said, this isn't a first ride, this is just an unbox, but we have to look at oh, how beautiful how beautiful this electric skateboard is. Um, when I first saw this, 100%, my, the first word that came to mind was boutique. But I think boutique has a bit of a stigma to it because boutique normally means um, hard to get, low stock, always unavailable, probably goes out of business after a couple of years. I feel after meeting these guys, I've spoken to the team, they're all based in America, Washington State, I think. Washington State, Washington DC, I get them confused. They're here for the long run. Um, they are really putting everything into this, um, but they are not overextending themselves. So they all seem like really, really smart business people who just want to make amazing skateboards. So this is 100% a boutique style board for under four grand. And the performance and the trucks and the parts they're using, like the deck, let me bring it up to the camera just so you can see it. The deck on this thing, Look at that, look at that shape, look at the lip. The concave is gonna hold your feet so nice. These wheels, look at those wheels. The gear drive, the, the little bits of gold on the ends of the motor there. And there's your arc reactor, I call it. Probably not allowed to call it that. Marvel Sumi. And then just talking about the remote control again. Really beautiful quality. Manual reverse switch, which I am so happy about i hate the old double clicks you never know if you've done it this is tactile you can feel it at a glance you can just feel where it is so so nice uh, usb-c charging under a 
a little cap. So again, really helping with waterproofness. Really, really nice screen. Just a nice, simple remote. Yeah, really, really good. All right, so that is the end of the unbox. Um, let's recap really quickly. One beautiful board without the big, extremely convex deck. Um, a lot flatter. Still a little hump in the middle there for the, for, the, for the light option, which shows your battery level, which shows your acceleration effort and your brake effort. So it's a, a multi-purpose a multi light um, sensor. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Gauge, that's the better one. It tells you your battery when you're riding. You can see how much acceleration, how much force you're using. You can see how much brake force you're using. So it's a really, really nice touch. Beautiful remote, just insane build quality. Um, it's the build quality that really surprised me when I saw this in Vegas. Um, and this one is, is absolutely no different. It's even got a little handwritten sticker right here. I'm not gonna peel it off. Handwritten QC pass. So I know this board has been quality controlled by a human being. Someone's actually looked at it, they've turned it on, they've assumed it, they've revved it, they've run some kilometers, and it's passed their, their QC process. All right, that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you've made it this far, please leave a comment. Tell me what sort of scenarios should I test this board in? Is this a pure street, um, as fast as it can go, see how well it handles? Or do you want me to put on the massive off-road tires and do a whole separate video and, and show that ability as well? Um, I think this board is gonna um, demand multiple videos. Definitely like first ride, performance, maybe take it to a track night, let the racers try it out, get their thoughts, and then definitely an off-road trail video with those massive big off-road tires. Comment below what sort of tests, what sort of videos you wanna see. Um, I wanna put a lot of effort into this one because it's such a beautiful board. Uh, and as I said, I've been so excited to receive this one. So tell me what you want me to do and I will do my best to make it happen. Uh, but that is all for today. I hope you've enjoyed this unbox. I don't normally do these. Uh, if you've got any comments or questions, chuck them down below. And as always, skate safe, wear a helmet, and we'll see you next time. Oh, you guessed it. I could not wait until next weekend to ride this beauty. I've got an hour and a half until my plane leaves. So we'll do one really quick lap around the neighborhood. <laughs>
Uh, that's it. I really hope you've enjoyed this unboxing video and we'll see you next time.